I'm back from New York and the goal was to do a full New York Diaries but unfortunately while I was there I was sick three of the seven days. So I've compiled together the small amount of footage that I have to show you a little bit of a recap highlight of my time there. It is actually kind of cool though because there are two special guests. So I've just received a package from the bro, Ethan. He sent me out some bits from his brand every other Thursday. So let's see what this uh, Land Rover lover has sent us. So I'm starting with the Thursday Kunek sweater. That's what I'm titling it. It probably has its own name. Now I'm wearing this in a size medium and yeah, I think this is sick. It's a nice color. I've teamed it up with my hat. I'm really playing into those tones and it's, this just goes nice. This is a nice chill outfit. I can just see myself just pretty much wearing it like this to be honest. You know, give me a tote bag, go to the market and I'm just driving in my Land Rover. This is sick, bro. Now this is the one that I'm actually quite excited to try on because I've been loving fleeces lately. We're currently working on one for the Daniel Simmons brand and I actually think I can show you that in the next London Diaries video. And that is his fleece. Again, this has a slightly kind of like boxy-ish fit to it. It's not too long in the body, which is what I personally really like. And this is nice, man. The navy is beautiful. I like the kind of like the off-white details. I'm not gonna lie, I would just wear it like this. This is sick. So thanks Ethan for sending these out. Again, I'll put his Instagram account, which is a pretty cool account to follow, along with uh, his brand every other Thursday in the description box. Again, it ain't sponsored. I just like seeing other creators create.
So I have one of those corners that I think everybody has in their home, which is just that one space that's just a mess. It stays a mess. Uh, to be fair, I probably have more than, I have probably two of those corners in my uh, apartment. But I have one that just shouldn't be there and it's right there in my kitchen and it's a mess. So I've ordered something that I think will help kind of just declutter and organize that area. Before I do that, I'll show you what it actually looks like. All right, here it is. Please do not judge me too much. It is, it's just that corner. I mean, there is a pretty much a dead, a dead type of plant, which I don't know what it is anymore. So these boxes here, I can easily get rid of. But the thing that I've ordered to replace is this kind of like unit here. I got this from Amazon for like 20 pounds. Literally, I've had it for like a year and a half and it's not that pretty. It doesn't hold that much and it's, it's really just not stable. So that's what we're gonna be replacing. So that's what the spot looks like with nothing in there. It is actually a decent size. Like this is me standing in the spot. So it's a decent, decent bit of space that kind of just goes to the waist. And that's what it looks like. There's a good height, still got a bit of room up at the top and still a little bit of space to the side. But now I've just got so much more clean storage space that I can put in there. And yeah, it just ties that whole space up quite a bit. team so I thought I'd finish off this video with a q and I haven't done one of these in a while I feel it's just a nice chill way to end the video so diving straight into it one of the most asked questions was for a brand update so if you remember back in my brand announcement video I said that the first drop would either be roughly like the last week of October or the first week of November and well it's officially Friday the 25th of November right now and still no drop so long story short we ran into a pretty big problem. We had everything set to go, everything signed off, and then last minute, pretty much the manufacturer who was doing our trousers kind of just said, this can't get done. We just can't do it anymore. They kind of didn't give us many reasons. That's just what they said. So since then, we've been trying to seek, is there any other manufacturer who we can do it with, whether that's in the UK, whether it's in Portugal, and ultimately, no. There's gonna be no trousers in this first drop, which I'm a bit gutted about, but there's still a few other just gems in there. So as far as a drop update, I am not gonna give an exact date right now, but the plan is to have it mid-December. Mid-December is when we are looking for that first launch. Now, once I fully know and have all the product on the floor properly, that is when I will announce the exact drop date. So the handy cam that I use is the Sony 4K one. That's all I know that it's kind of called. If you type in Sony 4K handy cam, that's the one that will come up. Honestly, if you want to look more like elegant or dressed up and you have like larger legs, I really do suggest wide leg like pleated trousers and you team that up with just a pair of loafers, like penny loafers, and you're pretty much set. Ah, I'd say at the moment, oh, what's his name? He's the dude who played, he's in the new Elvis movie. I want to say, like Austin something, Austin Mick, I don't know, Austin something. 
I think that's his name. From what I've seen, I like a lot of his stuff that he's just been wearing on the street and you know, just what I've seen on Pinterest. Honestly, I don't think I ever get used to it. I just know each day, yo, just go in and do it because you know when you get out, you're gonna feel good. So I was meant to be coming back this Christmas around like the 22nd of December, but because of the brand and because of the delays, I do have to stay in London now. So my goal is to get back in New Zealand uh, to see my family around like February, 2023. I love the internet in the shoes. So the reason I wear tabby loafers is because I personally really like them. I love what they do to an outfit, especially if you're just wearing black trousers and a black t-shirt, having just tabby loafers on just adds that nice little just like, I don't know how to describe it, that just last fun little bit of interest to your outfit. And I just love what they can do and how they can elevate a simple outfit. That's, that's why I wear them. Definitely, I always repeat outfits. If I've got like an outfit that I really like, I might wear it like two or three days in a row. Yeah, I'll change out obviously my underwear, my socks and probably the t-shirt as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm a huge outfit repeater. I encourage it. I think the internet makes you think, and I don't help with this, with the content I put out, but the internet makes you think that you can't wear the same outfit over and over again, but you definitely can. If you find an outfit that you like, wear it to death. Wear it to death until you don't like it anymore. Not anytime soon, but I'd be lying if I said we haven't started making headway here. 100%, I'm not even gonna lie, 100% I want to live in New York City. That's where I wanna do the first pop-up for the brand. That's, that's where I wanna be. I love New York City. So I've been trying to wrap my head around this one without using Google to kind of understand what is the definition of a soup. But when I break it down, you'd almost say, yeah, cereal is a soup. I guess it depends on the liquid volume you have in it. But like, for example, if I have Cocoa Pops, I put a lot of milk in there because obviously I want to drink it and have that like milkshake thing at the end. So yeah, I'd probably classify that as a soup. 